So Brenna, I'm intrigued by the things we have on the table here. And these look like these are designed to be worn. They are. You can go ahead and put oh, them on I'm, if you would like I'm totally to. going to put this on. <laughs> and, and this is, these are ears. Yes. And this is giving me the ears of... A long, brown-eared bat. Oh, heavens to Betsy. It's written right there. Yeah. A brown, long-eared bat. Perfect, perfect. So if I put this on, like... Wow, that is a different way to experience the world. Yeah, so actually bats, they hear at a higher frequency than us. So like my voice is going to sound a lot different to you and oh your gosh. voice is going to sound a lot different. Yeah, this is giving me a lot more of the higher pitches. Yeah. Your voice sounds squeakier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So, yeah. I kind of like you with a squeaky voice. <laughs> I might just stay this way. Thank you. But anyway, I modeled these after an animal. Uh -huh. So these are after the eye eye, uh -huh. which is a not uh -huh. lemur that lives in Madagascar uh -huh. um, and the ears both sets are made to mimic the actual animals okay hearing so because the ears are a different shape uh -huh. it takes in more sound waves so these ones are kind of like frequency. taller and curvier yeah. and, I, and I think like the the shape of your external ear really affects the mix of frequencies yeah. that come into your and this Definitely. changing that pinna really makes a dramatic difference in terms of how I experience the world. Yep. It's, it's just a different way to mm -hmm. hear it. Yep, so if you if you try on this pair, this animal taps wow. on things. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> so different. I kind of liked being a brown, long-eared bat. <laughs> and this one taps on things, you say? Yes, so okay. it hears at a lower frequency. Okay, so if you tap on the table. Oh, that's good, that's good. And yeah. I'm much more directionally mm -hmm. inclined. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I am picking up more of the lower pitches. Yeah. Your voice sounds, I like you with the squeaky voice, <laughs> I gotta say. But it makes your, your laugh sound more full and rich, which Thank is kind you. of awesome. Thank yeah, you. This is great. So, yeah. Well, tell me, tell me how you made these. So, how did, if I wanted to make something like this, and, 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 and how did you do it? Like, what did you make the ears out of? Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, that's so different. <laughs> that is so different. It is, it, it's a that lot different. That is so different. different. And, and you, you get used to it. Mm -hmm. You get used to it, but it's like wearing glasses that makes you see the world differently, but I'm wearing these for my ears. This is awesome. Yeah. So how do I make them? So I took this polymorph uh -huh. meltable plastic. Uh -huh. It melts at 60 degrees Celsius okay. or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just put it in a glass cup, which is Ooh. important. Otherwise, it's probably going to stick to the bottom okay. of the glass. And should we melt some? Yes. All right. And pour almost boiling water in. Okay. And then the plastic starts to bond together. So you just give it a stir here. And you can tell when it's ready because it turns clear. Oh. And then you can take it out and it'll be a little hot. But just take it off and then I just kind of let it cool for a second because it's a little toasty. But then you can start to mold it just like you would, um, I don't know, like dough in a cookie. Uh -huh. And uh, so I'm going to make a little ear shape here. I'm just going to, yeah, and it's super easy to mold. It's like Play-Doh. Oh, wow. So here is my very rough ear, but in about mm, five minutes it'll dry completely, and then you have an ear. That you you have can, an ear, awesome. Yeah. So you molded these with the plastic. Yes. And then you you put these on. Looks like you have some headphones, and you like mm -hmm. cut this out, and this is to hold it. Yes. So those are actually uh -huh. like construction headphones. Oh, this is that like you sound blocking on. headphones, mm -hmm. but we took out the sound blocking yeah. bits. And I cut it out with a Dremel tool. Oh wow. So yeah. So slice this open, mold an ear, put it on, and it gives it makes this device that really lets me sort of like I'm trying to think, what would be the equivalent of seeing the world in a different light? I'm hearing the world in a different mm, different pitch. You're hearing, hearing the world in a different pitch. <laughs> there I'm getting you go. A, a mix of different pitches. <laughs> and it really does give me a qualitatively different sense of the world. And yeah, my voice sounds crazy. Different. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Super cool. So Cool, and your ear is, is, is starting, to, is starting yep. to firm up a little Here bit. Here we go, so it's getting a little bit harder. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and you can hold awesome. it if you would awesome. like and to. I can wear it, and, yes. I, so I have, <laughs> and actually, just that actually changes. Mm -hmm. This is kind yep. of awesome. So. And this, this is something that people could play around with, and the parts yes. to do it are mm -hmm. really yeah. simple. Yep, you Great. just need hot water, spoon, and a glass. Awesome, so. hot water, spoon, and a glass. And I think we have to close by wearing these things. So which ones do you want? You want the brown and the I don't care. Eye? Which one do you prefer? I'm going to go eye, eye. <laughs> All right. Cool. I kind of like the deeper <laughs> like the deeper sound. Awesome. Here we go. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, Brenna, thank you for sharing this awesome thing with us today. Thanks for listening, well, Brian. Well played. <laughs> thank Thanks you. Thanks much. <laughs>